Hi, Colby Vaughn here for MMP Yacht Center. Today I'm going to take you through this 2022 Boston Whaler 405. Although the boat itself is absolutely spectacular, we do have to start with these amazing engines. So these are the brand new Mercury Verado V12s, 600 horsepower and naturally aspirated. And what we're starting to see is that boat builders are building the boats around the engines because these cowlings actually don't move while underway. Just the bottom part of the pod is rotating. Right now, all three engines are running, very quiet, and we're on skyhook. So it's keeping a GPS position, and the props are just rotating and going in and out of gear. You can barely tell right now. Because the cowls don't move, we also get this additional space back here. You can put a kayak, paddle board, you can put a small TV back here. You get to your destination, put them into the cockpit, and you can just tilt your engines up for the night. Or if you're going for a week or a week long trip, you can just leave the engines down and in the water. But it's absolutely amazing that we've got 1800 horsepower idling right now, and we can barely tell that they're running. Coming back into the cockpit here, this is the summer kitchen option. So this is an option. If you don't get it, you get a, a four person transom seat here. But with the summer kitchen, you can have the grill, pull out fridge or freezer here, small sink, and additional storage throughout. If you decide to not go with the summer kitchen option and instead have the four person bench seat, you get a grill in this location here like your traditional grill on your 345 or 325s. One of the cool things about the Conquest Edition is that these seats here are reversible. So you can put this guy forward. And a nice little bench there for your feet. This one here has a pull-out station here for your feet as well. So you can be sitting here, facing back, watching the lines, or just enjoying a nice day out on the water. And if you want to have a little bit more countertop space, this seat folds down, this pops up. You've got more counter and prep station, or place to prep bait for if, out, if you're out fishing. Because she still is a Boston Whaler fishing boat, in the floor we have two fish boxes. So one on the port side, one on the starboard. You can fill it up, uh, tuna or salmon, fill it up with ice and you can keep it in there for a couple days. And I am going to open up this uh, hatch here. We do have the generator running so it'll be a little bit noisy, but we have the Fisher Panda, Panda diesel generator running in its own sound shield. We have the Sea Keeper stabilizer right now, as well as the Spectra water maker. The water maker is running on DC power, can make you fresh water out of salt water anytime you want. And then this is all the mechanical spaces down here, bilge pumps, water inlets and things. And these beautiful teak varnish tables. So they come out, great spaces to store them. And then they can come in here. So you can either set one or two up in the back cockpit area here. Also standard on the 405 here is this dive door. So you can open it up, great access, no longer do you have to throw your leg over this gunnel to get into the boat, straight onto the dock, or if you're swimming there's a great dive ladder that goes in there, and if you pull prawn traps or crab traps up through the door, or if you happen to catch a big halibut, straight through. Underneath the port side seat here is a refrigerated cool box. So this is electrically operated. You can fill it up with all your drinks, keep everything cold in there. And then the whole top opens up on it as well. Coming back inside the boat, I'll just drop that down. We've got a really cool table here. So this table is electric bear with us. It does drop down.
When it's in its lowest position, the seat back slides. Drop that down. And that forward facing seat comes out as well. So what you get there is you get a nice sun pad. You can lay it out, enjoy a little bit of shade or a bit of sun depending on which way you're facing. But really nice social space, hanging out, lounging area. And then when you want to get going again, you can flip this forward seat. And then along with the helms person, you have two people facing forward here. You got two navigators on the port side. And also on this boat, we have the optional 24 inch Raymarine screen. So you've got all the navigation you can have at your fingertips here. So you can be watching the forward facing camera. If you have a FLIR on board, you can also have charts, radar, sonar on here, control all the lights and generators all from this screen as well. Another neat feature on this boat is that we have an optional second joystick. So if you are docking port side two, you can utilize this joystick. And you open up the sliding window. I'm a big guy, I'm six foot six, but you can pop out and go right up to the foredeck if you want. So very versatile window. And of course it also brings in a lot of natural light and fresh air. Sliding over here to the helm side, you can just see how much natural light and visibility you get on this boat. This is a single pane piece of glass up forward. We've got opening hatches here. So if you want some ventilation inside the boat, if you're the driver, you can have your own side open or the passengers can have their side open or both. And then we also have this wonderful sunroof up on the, on the top here. The whole thing opens up. It is tinted glass, so it brings in some natural light anyways. But as soon as you open this up, open up the side windows, and on this Conquest, have the whole back open, it really feels like you're just outside on the boat. You have the pilot house version, which is all glass with the doors open, and a drop down windows with these open. It also has a great flow through, lots of natural ventilation. And although I kind of snuck past this part at the beginning, We've got the outdoor kitchen here. So it's got a single burner stove, another sink, and two fridges here. So you don't have to just be cooking down below. You can do a little prep down below, come up, do all your cooking here with the outdoor grill, and you're all kind of in the same social area. Another opening window to starboard, two 19 inch Raymarine displays, all glass panels. So they're all flush mounted in with an acrylic piece. Fusion stereos, and the latest Mercury joysticks. Really cool, you can push one button and all three engines start. So down below on the 405 is where you see the major departure from some of the other Conquest models. And now we actually have a solid door up here to the master berth. Before we get up there, just wanna go through the lower cockpit salon seating area here. And that is a high-low table. So if you wanna turn this into a berth, this table drops down, there's a filler cushion. And if it's just the two of you, it does flip open so you can get in and around the, around the seating area here. And on this particular boat, there's an optional freezer. So we've got a deep freeze under here. So that'll really extend the amount of time you can spend away from the dock. You can just keep your frozen meats and fish in there. Nice TV, stereo, tons of storage on the boat. So deep storage all the way through the boat up and above, underneath the seats. Got really nice opening hull windows here. So a lot of natural light again coming into the boat. We've got skylights and then the opening windows will bring some fresh air in. This is our lower galley. So we've got another isotherm refrigeration unit here. Single burner Kenyan stove and another uh, sink here, stainless steel sink. And again, just more storage for you. Good place to keep things, your microwave, Cups are strategically installed down beneath us here, so they can all be stored there. On the 405s, we also have a really nice access to the mid-berth cabin. All the Conquests have this space, but on this boat, 
we actually have a little bit more access in and out. We've got a full size hanging locker to port, a set of places to keep your clothes in the back there, kind of a chest of drawers, and a spring double mattress. The other nice thing about this is that it's so spacious that you can actually have room that you can flip up the mattress for additional storage underneath. You've got your own reading lights, privacy curtain. It really is a secondary stateroom that you can have guests on board. Moving forward, we do have a single head on this boat. It's a, it's a dry head, so the toilet is separated from the shower. It's a vacuum system. And we have access ensuite access up to the master cabin. So, the only conquest that we have with the full solid door here is this 405, and it has this nice pocket door. So the door just slides across. You have your own complete privacy up there. Door opens up again. You can really flow in and out of the salon area. We've got an island queen up forward, storage underneath the bed natural light coming in from the hall side windows and an opening port light up above. Stereo, TV, and additional hanging lockers up here, both port and starboard, as well as storage up by your headboards. Thank you very much for joining us on this tour of this 2022 Boston Whaler 405 Conquest. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Colby Vaughn, MMP Yacht Center. Have yourself a great day.